everybody. Tonight we're talking about a film festival only for adults. Yes. Please welcome the one of the co-owners of the Chicago Gold Coast Film Festival, Kevin Bame. <laughs> It, it is it is rated R restricted only, yeah. yes. for adults. only for my children will not be allowed to go. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, why did you start this festival? You know what? I, it's just funny. My two partners had this idea ten years ago that they said we're going to make some films. We're going to invite a bunch of friends to come over and we're going to show our movies. That was really the idea. They just wanted. They were frustrated filmmakers. They were accountants and lawyers, uh -huh. and they wanted to show their movies on the big screen. And then they would throw this party afterwards. And the third year, they came to me and said. Said, Kevin, would, would you like to make a movie for this? And I said, y yes, I would. I would like to make a movie. So I made a movie for it, and what I found out by going was they threw this epic party. It's really an amazing party. It's not like any other film festival you've ever been to. People get dressed up. It's high energy. There's a DJ. It's exciting. There's a red carpet. And I said, I, I think you're onto something here, but maybe we should make the films better. <laughs> that was the, the one. The one thing was, I mean, it was a bunch of amateurs making films. Mm -hmm. And so then we started to actually get better films. And now it's elevated to, I think it's one of the best comedy short film festivals in America. Okay, but I am in shock right now. I had no idea that you did this film festival because I know you from Boca Group and all yes. of your fantastic restaurants, Boca. G T Oyster, Girl and the Goat, Belena. When do you have time to do all of this? Everybody needs a hobby. <laughs> I, so I mean, when I was when I was when I was 18 years old, I wanted to do one of two things. I wanted to be in the restaurant business, or I wanted to go into the movies. And so I knew they were both difficult. I chose the restaurant business, and then, and this has allowed me to kind of you know fulfill that part of my life. Mm -hmm. Well, you mentioned so. uh, you mentioned the comedies. So they, they have to be. Comedic, and the more absurd, the better. Absurdly comedic. Uh, one of the trailers I'm going to show here, this yes. is about Derek Jeter. Yes. Derek what? Jeter, the star player mm -hmm. for the Yankees, right? So this is called JeterMatch.com. Take a look. This baseball great has 3,000 hits, but he also has 3,000 ex-girlfriends, and they are looking for a stable relationship with a normal guy to help them get over the heartbreak of losing Derek Jeter. That normal guy can be you. But how could I ever get a girl who dated Derek Jeter? I'm just a computer programmer. <laughs> You're also not very attractive, unlike Derek Jeter. And that's the beauty of JeterMatch.com. These girls are emotionally vulnerable and ready to lower their standards for you. <laughs> that one was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. The one I love is the senior moment, though. But what are uh, the guidelines, and how long can the short films so be? So the guidelines are it just has to be less than 10 minutes. Okay. It has to be absurdly comedic and absurdly funny uh -huh. um, and that's pretty much it you know we watched we've watched three or four hundred films so far this year there's we we don't have the full lineup set till May 1st but the D Jeter matches all in. over the country all over the country wow. hmm. and anybody can make these films and submit them anybody can make them and anyone does and <laughs> some of them are not great so but how, how do you judge part them? of my burden you know we, we sit around and watch them I mean we have we have watching parties mm. and Which, some of them are difficult to get yeah, through but okay. you know a couple glasses of wine and <laughs> everything gets everything's funnier funny. <laughs> when you have a couple glasses of wine and the audience is going to pick the winner the audience will pick the winner so part cool. the way this whole thing works is you come in you walk the red carpet it's it is a dressy event okay um joan rivers is there joan rivers is there uh, um, uh, interviewing everybody <laughs> and then you get to text to vote right from your seat and because it's the Park West Theater, the bar is open, everybody gets to drink, you get to sit at a table. Ooh, that's it's, perfect. It's and I love how it's in one day. You don't drag it's, it out over three or four days no, either. No, no, This is not the Sundance Film Festival. This is the Gold Coast. The Gold Coast Film Festival, it all develops over one evening. You walk in, you vote for what, best picture, best actor, best actress. A lot of times they're there. You get to see it. It's amazing. Mm, you, yeah. sa you said you've had several hundred films that you've watched. Yes. Uh, what's the fastest you've turned one off? Seven to ten seconds. <laughs> Whoa. So listen, sometimes you can just tell by the quality of it that it's not going to go. Oh, right. So. What's the cost of the ticket to come? It is thirty-five dollars for the night. For the mm. night. Mm. Now, how many films will be shown, and how many people do you expect? So we expect somewhere between five and seven hundred people wow. to show up, okay. and there'll be somewhere between fifteen and twenty films. So the actual running time of the films will be about an hour and forty-five minutes. So mm. you know, basically the the exact time that you'd go and see a regular movie. Right. But you just get to see like 18 of them. So if you don't like one, the next one's probably going to make you <laughs> right. laugh. And it's got to be, I mean, you're seeing some guys that could be great filmmakers, up and coming filmmakers, exactly right? Exactly right. Uh, one of the films that debuted at the Gold Coast Film Festival last year went to Cannes Film Festival last year and won one of the awards. So that's mm. pretty amazing. Will there food be there? 
Would there be food there? There's, <laughs> there's, 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 not, there's not food oh, for okay. the Buckley Restaurant Group. It seems odd, right. isn't it? Yeah, that's right. right. I'm, keeping, I'm keeping them separate. I'm keeping my two worlds separate. All right. Well, Kevin, thank you so much for thank being for here. And me. make sure you get your tickets to the Chicago Gold Coast Film Festival on May 10th. 35 bucks for the night. Just go to our website for more information. And thanks for watching Windy City After Dark. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 11 a.m.